Council Member Sandberg. Thank you. I may have a different statement next week, but I just want to let everyone know where I am right now. On the whole, I agree that taxes are the price of having a well-managed city by a government that is mindful, frugal, and capable of prioritizing spending for the benefit of the entire local community. When it comes to the basic essential public services, we have to have the funds to restore before we do more. In other words, the cost of maintenance and upkeep, while not always the most attention grabbing of public services, are every bit as important as building new things, expanding projects and programs, and adding more to the infrastructure inventory. We must have the resources to repair and invest in what we have, including our hardworking employees who provide the basic essential services that our public deserves. There are many good ideas in this proposal, but with this increase in local income taxes, I find myself in a most difficult place. My priorities and the vast majority of those who've connected with me as an at-large representative include public safety and essential basic city services. If we find ourselves lacking in resources to cover these basic needs, then we truly do need to expand our revenues to provide them. The fact that we currently don't seem to have enough to cover these costs is a source of alarm for many. Why don't we? Have we not done enough to be prudent in the expansion of our infrastructure projects? Have we neglected the market pressures that are causing our employee shortages that put strains on our service delivery systems? Have we added too much too soon at the expense of the basics that all constituents expect? Many questions have come to us from a range of constituents. I was privileged to sit in as an observer during the recent FOP contract negotiation. On the whole, I was satisfied with the back and forth that comes with good faith bargaining. I was impressed by the FOP team and their passion and the data presented that made their case for needing more resources in order to compete in a competitive environment for police talent. I was compelled by their arguments about what happens when the loyal core that remains are stressed to the breaking point in overtime demands and lack of downtime to recharge their professional batteries. I remain deeply concerned that we haven't yet done enough, and this latest FOP contract is merely a good start to getting back to a healthy place with adequate staffing levels and pride in the profession. And then comes the kicker. All bets are off with this negotiated contract unless the city council, at least eight of us, approve this lit increase. So there's that. Times are hard for a good many of our constituents, those on fixed incomes, those with low incomes, those with pressing medical needs who can ill afford to pay more to the government, whose promises of rebates to the most needy are often tied up in competitive grants, red tape, and bureaucracy. Times may get harder with a deepening recession, world turmoil, with costly war on the horizon perhaps, escalating medical and food costs, transportation getting more expensive. While we try to make the case that increasing the lit will improve the lives of our city residents, we cannot ignore the fact that this decision impacts more than the residents of Bloomington. The tax is also imposed on our county colleagues. Monroe County and surrounding cities may also benefit from having extra dollars in their budgets, but at whose expense? While I am a representative of the best interests of Bloomington, I cannot help but be mindful of the costs we vote on at the expense of those we do not represent. Coordination with our county colleagues is paramount when such manners, matters come before the Monroe County Tax Council, where we, the Bloomington Common Council, have the majority share of votes. I would feel much better about this lit increase if it had more intergovernmental unit buy-in more consensus in Monroe County that this was a necessary step in ensuring adequate public services. While I accept that revenues are required to cover growing expenses, I find myself in a most difficult place. I will struggle with this decision. I've lost sleep over it, especially as the list of special projects and programs seems to grow beyond my comfort level, beyond what I consider prudent. Every new project we add will need revenues to maintain, we simply must restore before we do more. A larger amount for the lit increase does not sit well with me, and yet the FOP contract must be honored. Basic essential public services must be provided 
If we fail to deliver on that promise to our overburdened police officers, who can ever trust this government and its administration again, or this council? I will leave it there as I listen to more and weigh the merits of this hard choice before us. At this time, we need more thoughtfulness, we need more discussion, we need to come to a consensus, and tonight I will pass. Thank you.